What's up Facebook Live? Joe coming to you here from the backyard in Cobbs Creek, Virginia. We just got back from an epic evening of events with my man Xander, we got Chuck, we had Kathy downtown Cobbs Creek, went out to a Mexican restaurant. We had a great dinner, we laughed the whole ride down, we laughed the whole ride back. We enjoyed ourselves over dinner with some awesome conversation. And then over, when dinner was over, we went out into the back of the establishment and we played cornhole. Six games of cornhole and Xander brought the bacon home. Kathy was kicking his butt the whole night and it came down to the time when you start, how you finish. Xander closed out in fashion with two ringers to win the game. Tracy, good to see you here this evening. Continuing to send you love this morning. I hope you're receiving that energy because I keep thinking about you guys as you got some situations going on in this world right now. Know that. I am here thinking about, I'm praying for you, I'm sending you good energy, I'm sending you love and light. Keep rising, keep moving forward, keep showing up. And many times, all we have to do is remember is be that childlike person and have a lot of fun. And that's what we did today. And right now we're inside singing karaoke. I just banged out a quick five songs. We inspired Xander, now he's in there singing some songs. I wanted to come out here and make sure we took care of business with number 231 of 366 Facebooks Live. Continue to see you here, Gene. Thank you for showing up. What's up, Gerardo? Thank you for seeing you. It's been an absolutely beautiful, beautiful evening to see the awakening from these people being around us. So a big, big shout out to everybody out there having fun in the world today. This is why we are here. When we're two, three, four, five years old, we're in that state all the time of having fun. But something shifts from five, six, seven, eight as we step into school and we start comparing ourselves to other people. You're not here to compare yourselves to other people. You are here to be you. You are here to have fun. You are here to live your truth. And yes, the truth will set you free. But you have to allow yourself the space and the courage, step into courage to let that go. A lot of us don't want to be judged. So we started getting, getting judged back when we were in fifth grade, sixth grade, we're, we're best. and we stopped being childlike, godlike. As I met a woman today at that, that beautiful house that we saw today, I believe that's gonna be the place that we're gonna have a few events at, regardless we purchased the property, if it all works out. I'm not sure why the property did not sell, but. I know we're going to have that space for some events, so I'm looking forward to seeing Rises 1, 2, book, book 2, people coming down here to experience this peace and love. As those frogs are in the background reminding us, go out there, have fun, and be you. If you want to make noise, make noise. If you want to be quiet, be quiet. But make sure you're having some fun in this world. That is what it's all about. That is why we are here, to continue to step out into joy and peace and I was just recording Xander in there on my, on my phone to send to his father as a reminder at 17 years old how to be childlike. To remember before you get into that state of always people looking at you, judging you. And we are our own worst critics. We are our own worst judges. There's the judge and the parasite. The judge continues to judge things that we're doing. The parasite eats away at us. The Four Agreements. You want to see a super powerful book? Read The Four Agreements. Be impeccable with your word. Don't ever make assumptions. Always do your best. When you always do your best, you're not comparing yourselves to other people. Good to see you, Matthew Burns, all the way from Colorado. How is the fishing up there in the mountains, my brother? Had a powerful insights today on our inner circle call with my brother. So thank you guys for, for all the insights today. At that house today, my body was vibrating. On the call today, my body was vibrating. I had to go take like two showers today from all the energy that I was releasing, all these toxic energies out of my body, continue to surrender, continue to let go. That's what we all need to start doing. Let go of all that stuff from the past. These mosquitoes are attacking me like crazy. These things are like bats down here, Mike Pruneau. They're tearing up my phone screen right here. I can see this. I don't know if you guys can see that right now, but these, these mosquitoes are flying at their phone screen. They're out here attacking like, like they're going to uh, swoop down and suck all the blood out of me like a vampire. But we had nothing but rain here for six days in a row. And all of a sudden, Xander shows up, and two days in a row we had beautiful weather. Today we had beautiful weather. Going out there having fun today. Singing some karaoke in the house tonight, playing some cornhole, having great conversations, joking and kidding, and having a lot of fun. James, good to see you. That's what we're supposed to be doing. 
Don't ever forget why you are here. You are here to have fun on this life's journey. Yes, there could be challenges away. There could be roadblocks along the way. But you know what? Those times are to help us remember the good times. That's why we continue to show up. Melissa, good to see you. Please send our love to Mike. I've been thinking about you guys. We got some crazy stuff going on down here, Melissa. You guys got to reach out to me. I'll give you a quick update. Give me a shout out. There's so many great things going on right now. I'm excited because I know and I felt the energy. I felt the pain of the woman that built that place today. As I walked through her place, I could see she put love in every single room. And I'm not sure why she never completed it. But I felt a hole in her heart. I got emotional at one point as I was explaining to the realtor about the vision from four years ago about rising as one. Then having that spiritual awakening to get to this space of now I'm going to be living our purpose. It's no longer about one person or two people. It's about all of us rising as one. Making that difference. So I hope you're doing a bunch of fix and flips up there, Melissa. The market is super hot everywhere in the country right now. And I know it's going to be super hot going forward. I believe there will be a little bit of a dip. But I've been preparing for this dip for 10 years. The students are paying attention. They're going to get a lot of reward out of this. But we have to do the work every single day. Getting up, doing our routine that serves us, our family, our kids. But don't forget to have fun along the journey. There is no destination. The destination is right here, right now, today. To have fun, give it all you got, speak and be your truth, always doing your best, don't take exceptions, never take anything personally. It's not about you. When we make it about us, we lose the gift and the meaning of this journey of life. And yes, there will be obstacles and there's challenges to strengthen us along the way. Those are there for a reason, because we wouldn't appreciate the good times if that's all we ever had. You gotta have those challenges. Like, like when I was out in Hawaii for two years, I never appreciated the sun as much as I did after the six days of cloudiness we had here, raining over and over again. When I was out in Hawaii, every day was sunny and 80 degrees. I never got a chance to really appreciate the pure beauty of the sun every single day. Because you don't have that contrast. And contrast is what's gonna make you understand that, and me understand that not every day is gonna be perfect. We are far from perfect beings. Nobody in this world is perfect. You find a perfect person, have them call me. I will challenge them on that because I guarantee you there are no pe perfect people in this world. We are all doing this figuring out game as we go forward. One day at a time, 1% forward. Keep moving that needle. I can promise you, if you're getting better than you were yesterday, you are winning. If you're watching this, you are winning. If the heart is beating inside of your heart, chest right now, feel your heart, put your hand on your heart right now. If your heart is beating... So thank you guys for continuing to follow these messages. Thank you for going out there, sharing love. Thank you guys for praying for all the people out there. Because as you send out the energy of the people, you're going to get that blessing back tenfold. Keep showing up. They have not seen nothing yet. Let me go in here and help help us Alexander on some of these vocal chords in here and Chuck in to play the guitar. So I love you guys. I appreciate you. I guarantee you one thing. When it's all said and done, if we stay together, we will rise as one. Have a blessed, fantastic evening. I love you. I will.